Have you ever felt like you're not really that important? Uh, sometimes I've felt I'm not too important at points in my life, depending on what I'm dealing with. Uh, growing up with my brothers, uh, some of them, um, I have three brothers, uh, more mechanically oriented than I am. And when we would be fixing a, an engine or doing something mechanical on the farm, that wasn't my forte. I mean, I can change spark plugs and, and do an oil change and those kind of things, but some of that stuff was outside of my league. And so when we were doing something and they were doing that, I didn't feel really that important. Um, I imagine there have been times in your life you feel like you're really not that important. You don't really matter much. I want to remind you of something this morning from God's Word that tells you and me how important we really are. You know, I think of, of uh, in our world today, a lot of times very young people don't feel like they're that important. Children maybe don't feel like they're that important. Yet in this text that we're going to read, uh, previous to the text of uh, the parable of the lost sheep, Jesus is reminding the disciples how important the little children are and that we ought to take really good care of them. But I want to read this text and just comment a little bit on it. Matthew 18, starting with verse 10. See that you do not, this is Jesus speaking, see that you do not look down on one of these little ones. For I tell you that their angels in heaven always see the face of my father in heaven. What do you think? If a man owns a hundred sheep, and one of them wanders away. Will he not leave the 99 on the hills and go to look for the one that wandered off? And if he finds it, I tell you the truth, he is happier about the one sheep than about the 99 that did not wander off. In the same way, your father in heaven is not willing that any of these little ones should be lost. Um, importance. How important are you and I to God. You know, these sheep must be important. This one sheep must be important for the shepherd to leave the 99 to go find the one. That means that that one sheep was very important. You know, as I read this text, I look at a God who looks at each and every one of us and says, you're important to me. You're valuable to me. We need to hear that sometimes. There are people who are, who are crushed by life's circumstances. They're crushed by how maybe someone else has treated them. Maybe they're crushed by even the kind of life that they have lived and people have made them feel like they're just not worth much. They're really not that important. They haven't measured up to what someone thought you should measure up to. I need to remind you of a God who loves you just the way you are, takes you just the way you are and says, hey, let's make something new. And that's exactly what he does as he transforms our lives as we allow him to through the power of his Holy Spirit as we grow in him, uh, we become new creatures in, in Jesus Christ. And so I wanna remind you of that. Um, another thing I wanna remind you of is, is something that we don't always uh, um, think about this text and that first verse I read to you says something about angels. It says these little ones have their angels. If you read it in this, uh, the NIV version, it says here, for I tell you that their angels in heaven always see the face of my father in heaven. You and I have guardian angels that protect us. Isn't that amazing to know? We're important. We're important because God has surrounded us with a heavenly host to take care of us as well. Don't you think that we're important? God is willing to leave the hundred to get the one. When we're lost, when we're uh, going in a way we shouldn't go, God's concerned about that. He wants to find that lost sheep and bring that lost sheep back to the fold. I want you to be encouraged by that um, today, that you're important that you're very important to God, that he loves you dearly, that he's willing to leave the 99 to get the one. Sometimes I'm that one. Maybe sometimes you're that one. And no matter what you feel like in the world today, under the circumstances you're in, in whatever scenario you find yourself in, if you feel like you're not really that important, you really don't contribute much to the present scenario. You need to be reminded you are very important. 
and God values you. He sent his son for you and for me. Remember that. You're very, very important to God. I'm grateful that God thinks that I'm important and you're important. In a humble, humble kind of way, I am just so grateful that he values us. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.